Matasan here. The way I have it figured, we're probably about due for a wool again. So, we have been wearing our good equipment and have not been taking much damage, doing much dying, anything of that nature. Those three deaths, oh man, quite a few enemies here. Those three deaths that you see on the, I can't see in the dark. Those three deaths you see on the counter were all from fall damage. Ooh, okay, creepers don't spawn on their own here, so. Let's do some spawner maintenance. Eat a chicken. Should be a spider spawner around here too. Unless that was the first one I broke. So dark. Okay, a little bit better. All right, next thing we're looking for is torches. Oh, man, that's a lot of skellies. You know what? I have a tool for taking out skeletons. It's called a bow and arrow. Spawners are getting pretty dense. It's getting pretty hazardous around here. Got him. Well, let's take care of that chest first. Er, spawner. I misspoke. Protection one. Nothing noteworthy. Okay. Let me save those for later, though. What do we got? Third class versus second class. It's, it's, it's nice when they label the tiers like that. So you can be like, oh, this is an improvement. I think that's what I have, yeah. Ooh, my sword is running low. No coal, but I'll take the sticks. Okay. I'm surrounded in trees and I'm taking the sticks. I tell ya. Oh, that's a river. I thought that was void. That looks like the wool. Why is there a dragon crystal there? What kind of spawner is that? It's a crystal spawner? What? I don't understand that. Maybe if I shoot it, I'll understand it. I don't think that helped me understand it at all. Okay, I guess we go down the waterfall. Whoa, okay. It's pretty dark. I'm totally afraid of this being like one deep or something, especially after that last map we played. The, uh, oh, what was that called? Dead Serious map? Where you were just swimming along a one deep water forever. 
found out I can shoot my bow and swim. And I'm glad you came out before, uh, before I went in there, or I wouldn't have known about your spawner. Alright, and there should be an ender chest right around the corner then, to fit the pattern. One more. Okay. Okay. After I get this wool in an ender chest, I'll take a look at what... Well, it's pretty obvious what that one does. Checkpoint number two. Oh, wow. He might even give us better stuff. Let me unequip real quick. Ooh, a sapling. Okay. Now I gotta go step on the pressure plates. It's a requirement. Did I click the set checkpoint button? Now I did. Let's get ourselves blown up. Yep, explosives. Okay. I'm gonna need more blocks. that. Alright. Yes, I'm really doing this. Thanks for asking. Gotta set off the traps. You know, that might, um, hello? What's going on here? Oh, it's a half block, okay. Might have been close enough I could have parkoured it, maybe. I'm not a parkour savant though. All right, what was I wearing? Third class, second class, third class, and divine boots. Divine boots. Divine, divine, divine. I'm guessing divine is top tier. Ooh. Speed boost on those legs. Ooh, extra attack damage on the chest. Bonus heart on the helmet. She. Okay, I'll leave the Ender Pearl. In case of dire situation, we can come back for it. Let's see, bring one of those. Divine Sword. Keep a bow. There's only been one bow on the map so far. That's the pick I brought. Bring a little wood, bring some blocks. All right, anything I'm forgetting? Nah, I think that's everything. Okay, I did put armor on, right? Mushroom Valley. Okay, spawner over here. Supercharged. A poison supercharged creeper or a withered or something. That's interesting. Sodden threat. Blue essence. Oh, I did put that wool in the ender chest, right? Not just the chest. 
so I don't have to backtrack later. Okay, good. Thought I did, but I just want to make sure. Okay. Can I just avoid that? Those are diamonds. What efficiency is this? Ooh, but it's fortune one. Let's get some diamonds. Okay. Wondered about that. Put a few diamonds away. Could come in useful. Any diamonds survive that blast? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Well, there's not so much of a path anymore. <laughs> oh, oops. Oh, there's another bow. Divine bow, second class bow. We'll go divine. Okay, top off on arrows. It's a spaceman. He drop anything? He didn't drop nothing. All right, that gas might actually be in range. Man, he spawned like instantly, didn't he? Ooh, I wonder if you could set up the spawner. Whoa, what is up with that? It has zoom? Wait. This is a troll bow. I thought he had it set up so it was like sniper scope. That is interesting. Well, it says it does have that. And it boosts your health, too. Doesn't seem to actually work, though. Which we kind of need out of a bow. So... I'm gonna go with it's a troll bow. I did not know you could make a bow that doesn't work. That is news to me. Where is he? Oh. No? I don't see him. Where's he at? Oh! Wait, this one's doing it too. Maybe it's not a troll bow. Maybe all bows are troll. I don't know, man. All right. Let's get rid of it. Okay. Then we, where we're going, we don't need bows. They always put a chest right by a spawner. <laughs> so you see the chest before the spawner. So you give the mobs lots of time to spawn. Alright, we got coal. Let's make some more torches. It's a lot brighter in this room, so we might not need it. I shouldn't have used all that wood. Well, there's wood everywhere. These trees are wood. Okay. Guess we're bringing everything. Oh! He came out of nowhere. The heck just happened to that skeleton? Sound like he hit himself off the cliff. 
That's weird. Chickens, torches. Oh, baby spiders. Okay. Where's that? I don't see the spawner. Where's it at? Where's the spawner? I don't see it. I still don't see it. Oh, there we go. Spawners just spawn them right away. Like when a spawner spins, it slowly gets more and more likely for a, a mob to spawn, right? So there's maybe there's some way to set them so they're like the moment they start spinning, they spawn something, right? Seems like maybe that's what's happening with these guys. He just hit himself. I wonder if that's part of the trolling on this map. You're supposed to hit yourself with arrows or something. I don't know. Probably about wool time, don't you think? It feels like wool time. Feels like it's about wool o'clock. No! If he had better knockback, I'd have been dead. Supercharged creeper around here somewhere. Oh, there's a tunnel there. That's probably the goal, unless I see a wool box somewhere. Jumping. Oh my gosh. Felt like the path was leading me this way, and then it wasn't. Yeah, I think we're just supposed to supposed to follow the path. A lot of these gas spawners are so far away they're out of range. If you just hug the walls. work fine for me skeletons I don't know what your problem is there it is the last wall Last one had a spawner on top, so well, that's just preemptively. Okay. What they should have done is like elaborated on the uh, like, well, this time there's a spawner, but. There's also a block update detector that makes stuff blow up if you break the spawner or something. You know, like, build on the cha on the last challenge that we learned, you know? 
Okay, we have all the wools. Now it's time to find the monument. It's probably right down this tunnel. Unless it's like Ty's map and we actually have to fight for it. I don't know that I trust these uh, ceiling things. Makes me kind of nervous, actually. All right. Choose one side. One of them kills you. The other one is the monument. Choose wisely. Great choice. I have a feeling this is the trap. Alright, if this is the monument, then we have to go back and check the other path. Assuming we don't have to backtrack super far to do it. April Fools. It's gonna blow up, isn't it? Or is it actually the monument? Oh, it's actually the monument. Look at that. Blue Essence would be the third one I try, right? Are you seriously telling me you're not giving me an Ender Chest? Are you serious right now? Are you for reals? There's no under chest here. I think that right there is the troll. The biggest troll of the map. No under chest at the end. Ender chests every time you pick up a wool. No under chest at the monument. Surely I just missed it, right? I don't think I just missed it. We just got trolled so hard. So hard. Hey, I have a chest on me. In that case, let's... There used to be a button that puts everything you have in a chest. Okay, let's go get certain death. Okay, I don't have the blocks to deal with that, so let's just jump it. Okay. Wrong way. But it was supposed to be death. Okay. I can't make that jump, actually. I wonder where our spawn point is, actually. It might be up at the ender chest, so it might actually be to my advantage to die here. Yep. Awesome. Okay. Victory run. Let's try really hard not to lose that purple wool, because that is gonna be really bad if we do. Alright. One for a crafting table. I know I've made a crafting bench already in this map. You can't tell me that was benchmarking. Sword's probably most important. We already took care of the spawners, so. Oh, I already had a sword. Okay, well I feel foolish. 
All right, victory run. Uh, blocks my food, definitely food. In case of dire straits, we will under pearl. Should all be taken care of for us now. So just victory run. I will hold the, the most valuable of the wolves. So, I guess it's a good time to talk about the feelings on the map. Um, you know, I didn't get killed by a single mob. Not once. Technically, all of my deaths were me killing myself. Right? Three of them were me jumping off a cliff trying to hit a patch of water. And one of them was me intentionally jumping into lava. So that probably means the map's too easy. Because I generally die hundreds of times. <laughs> I like the custom mobs. They had a lot of unique character to them. Though it would have been cool if they dropped uh, custom equipment to match their personality. I mean, I guess the first mob dropped en Ender Pearls, and that was pretty much unique to that mob. But all the same. Parkour time. There we go. Is there really not an ender chest? If that's intentional, that's so trolly. I kind of doubt it was intentional, though. If it was intentional, you would have, like, put a sign. You would put a calling card on that. You'd be like... Oh, aren't you glad there's an ender chest here? Smiley face, winking. But it's a nice, uh, nice troll to complete the map with, I guess. I don't know what this is, but it reminds me of a spider. And then there's like a one by one hole or something. Okay. Let's do brown first. Brown, chunk, and purple. Du -du 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 -du. All right, guys. Another map down. That one was pretty short. That was like two episodes, right? Huh. Anyway, see you on the next map. Map, 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 map,